Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'd like to show you what I figured out the other day in a class and it's observing the impact of a duplicate IP address with a Windows 7 PC and look using the Windows Event Viewer and Wireshark. So I think it's kind of interesting. Enjoy! Okay, so let's jump into this. What we're going to do is take my machine and set it up with the same IP address as another machine on my network and observe the impacts of having a duplicate IP address. So first things first, let's see what I've got for my IP address here. I should have a DHCP assigned, I do. So what I'm going to do is give myself the same IP as, hey, how about dot one? It's a default gateway. Nobody will notice. So here we go. We're going to come over here, click on properties for my wireless adapter. I'm going to give myself 10.44.10.1. Before I press OK several times, I need to do a few things. First thing I want to do is clear out my log, and that way I can see what Windows reports when it sees a duplicate IP address. Next thing I'd like to do is start a brand new capture. So capture start. There you go. And now I can come back here and I can click zero, I mean OK and OK. Give it a moment. We should see a duplicate IP address error message pop up. There it is. We can close that we can stop the analyzer and I guess what I should really do if I want to be a good corporate citizen is get rid of my duplicate IP address just so I don't have anybody running over here and punching me in the head alright so let's see what Windows says looks like nothing unfortunately the event viewer is not real time so I have to refresh so that would be under action refresh and there it is and if I scroll to the bottom I should see there it is TCP IP duplicate address conflict so I know that this MAC address is going to be my default gateway who I'm conflicting with good if I come over here to Wireshark let's see what happens on the wire well this is actually quite interesting the first thing that happens is I don't have the MAC address for my DHCP server and I need to ask for that so I ask what's the MAC address for my default gateway or my DHCP server same box it comes back and says, here's my MAC address. And I say, great, got the MAC address, because that's what I need to do. I need to release my old IP. My old IP is 102. So Windows 7, this is kind of a nice little behavior to see that you're releasing your old IP. And then from there, you can see that I uh, take my IP, my new IP, 10.1. This is also called a gratuitous ARP. I'm sending this ARP out, and I'm saying, who on this network has the, has the MAC address for my IP. Sure enough, in this case, the router, the DHCP server, the Netgear box says, hey, I do. And then I say, whoops, and I back off and I go back to my Windows automatic IP configuration of 169.254.00, and I go back to that IP address. Again, it's uh, Tony Fortunato from the technology firm thanking you for watching the observing the impact of uh, duplicate IP address. So hope that helped. Enjoy and have a good day. Bye for now.